This is lesson 11 and the last lesson for the using units of measurement topic. And this one here is find volumes of rectangular prisms. The learning goal is to look into the volume of rectangular prisms and liquid capacity. And the success criteria is to be able to calculate volumes of rectangular prisms. Now the volume of a rectangular prism is a relatively simple formula and we have seen it in previous videos. To get the volume, you find the rectangular prism's length, you multiply it with the rectangular prism's width, and then multiply it with the rectangular prism's height. So with this one, what is the volume of this container? We just need to find those three relative numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the length is six. The width, one, two, three, four, five, is five. And the height, one, two, three, four, is four. And all we would do using our calculator, or if you want to challenge yourself, you can just try to figure this one out, what it is by um, using your arithmetic skills. And this ends up being 520, 26, 120 blocks. 120 blocks. So this is just saying that if I were to fill up this whole thing, this little, maybe this could be one by one by one blocks, uh, centimeters maybe or meters doesn't we don't know what we do know is exactly 120 of them can fit in here based on this formula now a lot of the the questions like that follow this format until you get to a question that looks like this what is the volume of this prism and the problem is it gives you the prism in the form of adding a certain amount so what we want to do is we need to try to figure out how many uh, of these things are being added across. So we've got a certain number for all of them, plus a certain number, plus a certain number. This one here is a certain number times a certain number plus a certain number, can't be this one. This one's a certain number plus a certain number plus a certain number, and then again another one, a certain number plus a certain number plus a certain number. Now these numbers need to be consistent. So here we have a three, a three, and a four. So we've got these two left, 9 plus 9 plus 9 cubic meters, or 12 plus 12 plus 12 cubic meters. If we were to do 9, let's slice this up. All right, so let's take this bottom layer here. And here we have, uh, excuse my 3D drawing ability, it's not the best. We've got across like this, and like that, and like that. If we were to just get that bottom layer, and we have nine blocks how many times do we have to add these nine blocks until we fulfill this full prism well we have to do this once twice three times four times so we have to add nine four times unfortunately they're only adding adding it three times so it can't be this solution here they are adding 12 lots and you can see that there is one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12 with this side face. So if I were to draw that, again, drawing ability is not the best. There's 12 blocks there. And how many times do we need to add these 12 set of blocks to fulfill this? Will that be one, two, three? So 12 plus 12 plus 12, three times. This has to be the solution here. With this question here, we're looking for the volume of this cube. So the volume of this cube, we have nine meters that goes across. So this is split up by nine meters and it's dictated by this little line here as well. So what does that little line mean? That just means that anywhere else I see that line, that is also nine meters, nine meters, nine meters, nine meters. And remember, a volume is just length times width times height. Well, we know what our length is. We know what a width is. We know what a height is. They're all nine. So nine times nine times nine. We grab a calculator out. Nine times nine times nine. This will give us 729 cubic meters. Or in other words, if I were to have a one meter by one meter by one meter box of some sort, exactly 729 of these one meter by one meter by one meter boxes can fit in this larger nine by nine by nine meter box. So 729 cubic meters is the answer. 
we'll be now looking into which of these rectangular prisms has a volume of 30 cubic meters. Now all we have to do is just multiply the length, width and height on each of these until we get 30. So this is 6 times 2 which is 12, 12 times 2 which is 24. So this can't be it. This is 5 times 3 which is 15, 15 times 2 which is 30. But this must be it here and just in case 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60 so it can't be this one. And 4 times 4 times 4, 64. It can't be this one. Now this last question, the final example, and this one is one of my favorite types because it requires you to uh, use a little bit of logic when tackling this type of question. So which container will hold the same capacity of liquid as this container shown here? This container, when filled up, you'll notice that on the sides, uh, this side and also this side, there are gaps. So technically, if we were to pour water into the actual container itself, it will technically leak out of there on the side and it won't fill up the whole thing. So that just means that only the bottom layer of this container can be filled. And to solve this, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the length is 6, the width is 6, and the height technically is just 1. So our volume is 6 times 6 times 1, which is 36 blocks. Now we've got to figure out, well, which one of these can hold 36 blocks? Now again, we've got to be careful when we fill this in, where does it escape? Where it escapes, we only consider that to be our height. So this here is 4, this here is 3, and this here is 2. So 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, so it can't be this one. This one here, it fills out, it gets on both sides in that case, so this is a 4 by 3 by 1, 2, 3. So 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 3 is 36. So this here can hold 36 blocks, which is the same as this amount in here, despite how different these shapes uh, or these prisms look they hold the exact same capacity uh, of liquid based on the fact that it will leak out on the side and this concludes this video concludes this lesson and concludes this unit for using units of measurement go ahead and attempt this skill and obviously you'll be attempting the post test after this whether this will be the last video for remote teaching i'm not too sure this is pending how this stage three and four lockdowns go but until then i will see you guys soon bye bye